Ever gone to use your Apex locator and it doesn't register on the machine and you think, oh my gosh, and you're like knee deep in a root canal? Let me show you a couple tips. Actually, one really simple tip that's gonna take you five seconds to do. Okay, so you've just completed your access in your tooth and you're about to get your working length or some side of working length and you go to place your, you've got your Apex locator fired up and you go to place your file clip on your Apex locator and boom, nothing. You get no reading in that bad boy and you think, oh my gosh, what is going on? So you start running around, you check and you check the batteries, you check this, you check that. You know, one of the simplest things you can do before you start your Apex locator, start your access, is just make sure that you have connectivity with your file holder and your lip clip. So what we'll do is that this is like, it's like flying an airplane. I'm not flying an airplane right now, but it's just making sure like a checklist in an airplane. So it's just to make sure that there's connectivity between this whole little circuit here. Now the reason why, and this takes 30, not even, like takes five seconds, and one of the problems, common problems that will prevent connectivity, I mean, if your batteries are low, then your batteries are low. It is what it is. But one of the things is that this file clip gets sterilized, you know, probably half a million times in its lifetime. And this little brass connector builds up tarnish. So what happens is it builds up tarnish and it doesn't connect well with your apex locator. So what you can do is just take this burr brush or steel wool or any type of kind of metal abrasive thing, clean it off and there you have it. But in the moment when you're struggling and you don't have any of, you know, don't have one of these at your fingertips, just go and grab another file clip because that might solve your problem. A fresh one and try, and then what you do is you just click that in there, check for connectivity first. So again, before you even have the patient seated, check to make sure your Apex locator is working. It should read all the way to Apex. You can do this with any Apex locator, not just the Air Apex. And then off you go. You've got confidence that your Apex locator is working. Hope that helps. So hopefully that helps. Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and like and share this with all your friends. <laughs> Cheers.